but it's official day one today and we are starting off at summit one the at Vanderbilt. The, the Vanderbilt and we just had our first subway experience and it was not very nice <laughs> very smelly he said the middle doors didn't he we're in the queue we have our little wristband so exciting recommend it but like it is very it, it no it is busy but I wouldn't be like it's there's too many people there um like you are gonna have people in the background of like photos or videos but anyways unreal so much fun definitely recommend but we are in Grand Central Station <laughs> That's a secret I'm never tell. <laughs> Gossip girl. I guess people jaywalk in New York. I mean, I'm here first. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. I mean, we jaywalk at home all the time and it's <laughs> acceptable. Yeah. So we're, we've left Grand Central Station, which was unreal, so pretty. And now we are going to Liberty Bagels. <gasps> get our first New York bagel. I can't explain how excited I am to eat a bagel here. Yeah. And like they have, is this one where there's like multiple vegan options? I think the Thompson oh. Square Bagel has more, but this does have a good few I've seen online. So vegan cream cheese, we're coming for you. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh yeah, look, there's a blueberry cream cheese. Oreo, oh my God, birthday cake, yeah. yeah. Bacon scallion, oh my fucking god. That is so cool. Thank you. We're nearly at the top. All the tofu ones. Oh, someone's getting tofu strawberry. We have secured our bagel. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we have secured. <laughs> We've secured our bagel. We got a tofu with scallion. Yeah. Yes, so very excited. And we're going to Central Park to eat it. Also, name the movie. Thread. You Thread. got it. <laughs> oh, it didn't focus. <laughs> That's really oh. shit. Well, 
There we go. Taste test time. <laughs> you can really taste sesame. Mm. Okay, yeah. and we got the holy shit. Sesame. <laughs> the hunger. sesame straight away. Ah. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. That is mm. unbelievable. Bang. That is banging. 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 Oh my god. Liberty's bagels. So good. Just climbed up onto this rock thingy. Stunning view. Little ice skating rink in there. I think they're smoothing out the ice. Yeah. If we were to make an assumption here. Oh yes, that is the queue. Fair play to us, fair play to us. Right, we're on the hunt for a toiletto. Oh yeah, so we're just leaving Central Park. And I bought one of those tubs of fruit from the stalls that are in there for five dollars which is actually extortionate when you think about it <laughs> and the mango because it was just a mango pot and i was like mm, yes i would love some mango right now and it was rock solid <laughs> definitely it was cut far too early and the so it's just in like a clear container like a um like a glass like a plastic, a, a plastic cup and uh so you've got all the mango on the outside and on the inside but the inside piece was the actual stone it look really bulky. It look, yeah, it, it bulked it out and it looks like there was loads of mango, but actually half of it was the fucking stone. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't be making that mistake again. I'm just trying to get some fucking fiber in my life. <laughs> Go strolling down Fifth Avenue. Go strolling. Love it at Dolce and Gabbana. No, 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 no. Can't with all the American flags though. Like, I know where I am. We also don't need to brag about the country. We know where we are. Just bizarre. Cartier. We made it to the Rockefeller tree. So cool. And uh, we got this on the opposite side. Just so cool. Low sacks. Shake it off. We're back in the hotel room. We have our first coffee of the day. It's ten past two in Rana. Yeah. Yeah, twelve past two. Lads, we have had an unbelievable day so far. Unbelievable, obsessed, love the place so much. Yeah. It's just incredible. Obsessed, I just love it, I just love it. Now I will say, I don't know how people live here no. because it is so fucking expensive. Went to the shop, got these packet of crisps. Now they are a share pack or a party size. Six dollars. What? People. Six what? fucking dollars. Then we went to the pharmacy, got like a pack of bobbins and a Reese's. It's like two little mini Christmas trees and it was like 7 50 Like you, w you wouldn't pay that at home. No. Do you know what I mean? You absolutely wouldn't pay it at home. And Dublin is expensive. Dublin's expensive like. But like even the likes of a supermarket or like, okay we haven't gone into a Walgreens yet. but that like was a Walgreens. Oh pharmacy. it was? Yeah. yeah. Yeah it was. It was a Walgreens pharmacy. Yeah. And like you, you would think things like like there would be cheap, but they're not. No, there's no like budget friendly. No. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna chill here for a bit, and then we've got the rockets mm -hmm. this evening. So that's at five o'clock. So we don't actually have a huge amount of time to chill, no. like enough to kind of just <sighs> get a in. yeah, get ready, have a bit of a breather, have a coffee, have our coffee fee. 
and kind of charge our appliances and just get back out there. We are obsessed. Manhattan though is just, it's manic. manic. It's so busy. It, it wasn't as bad as I thought no, it was going to be. No. Now, I think this evening it will because all the lights are on. Yes. And like the rockets are on so that's going to bring yeah. people to yeah. a show. But it's not until like you get off and you're in Brooklyn you're like, oh it's so much more quieter. Quieter here. Yeah. And you're like, ah. Oh, it just feels, it actually feels like home. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, we love Brooklyn. Okay, we've not even been here 24 hours and we're like saying that we love it. Yeah. But we do love it. Yeah. Just having a jolly old good old time. I didn't know that I would love it this much. But like, I'm really, 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 really loving it. I'm just like, so not into the price of things though. No. Like, that is just... People need to live. How do people live? I don't understand. Like, don't get me wrong. I know wages and stuff are higher in New York compared to other places in the world. But like, I seen a tub of Biscoff and it was like six fifty, yeah. and that's without tax. And then I seen a packet of the Biscoffs. You know the ones that you do do get in deals, and they're like one fifty. What's a sleeve? Yeah, a sleeve of the biscuits. No, not the 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 one. No, singular like, thing, like a whole, like a packet of them. Yeah, that was six dollars. Yeah, yeah, six six dollars. It's just like because that price didn't have have the uh, the tax on it, so when yeah. you got up, it probably would have been six. <sighs> it's just crazy. Like, think you could get that in deals or Pepco, or whatever, for 150. I just don't. I don't understand how it has to be that much more. Mm. It's just, it's wild. But yeah, having the best time, guys. The best time. Okay, we are ready. I've got my blue blazer, oversized blazer dress. Got that from Spice Vintage at her pop up shop. Got my docks on. I've got my plump lip gloss. Lips are looking delicious tingling as fuck and then Evie is in her two-piece what's that place called the hippie shake, the hippie shake. And the shirt is from the hippie shake. oh hippie shake head to toe and we are ready for the rockets let's go lovely queue for us there now but does it start at five or you just have to be there for five <laughs> We're in the queue. It's a big ass queue. Also, it's so cool seeing everything lit up at night. We have made it in. Oh, that's so exciting. So we're on the first floor. Up we go. Also, you can get like popcorn here, but it's 13 euro for a tub of popcorn. Oh, whoa. That is strong. Starring the Radio City Rockets, presented by QVC. To make your experience more enjoyable, please listen carefully to the following images as a courtesy to your fellow patrons. Please refrain from cell phone use, including photographing. So we're finished at the Rockets. I'm going to do a, a review when I get home, just because it's really hectic right now, and I have I have a lot to say. So um, we're going to Times Square. got to do that tonight but we're coming up to the Bryant Bryant Winter Village, Winter Village Christmas Market yeah. which we were potentially gonna do yesterday but yeah. then we were like no we were really tired so yeah let's go across there in we go in we go in we go whoa wah wah wee wah it's exactly like the videos on yeah. YouTube <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's quite big. Yeah. Will we just walk this way? Yeah. I feel like this way kind of 
It's giving jewelry. It's not much here for us. Everything is like really expensive. But there's loads of food. Not a huge amount of vegan. We did see one place that did like vegan bowls. Like I think they were kind of like poke bowls or poke bowls, yeah, whatever they called. Yeah, they were um, like Indian curry. Oh, like an, uh, oh yeah, fab. Yeah, they were like Indian curry bowls. They were like $19. It's like, oh, no thank you. And there was, we found vegan hot chocolate, but we're not really in the mood of hot chocolate. So, but there's loads of like cute little stalls and stuff. Christmas decorations. So we're just kind of browsing. We're back in the room. It's like, what, nine, half nine? Ten past nine. We are wrecked. Absolutely exhausted. So ready for bed. We did get a slice of pizza each from Vinny's, the place that we were at yesterday. So I'm very excited to tuck into this. So the Rockettes. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. The pizza is so good. <laughs> also, actually, before we get into Rockettes, we bought Metro cards today. $35 each. Eve lost hers. <laughs> so that's annoying. Anyways, the Rockettes, right? Highly rated. One of the best things to do in New York. It was recommended by so many people. And honestly, up until I'd say the last 10 minutes, I was like obsessed. Couldn't stop smiling. I was just mesmerized by, you can tell like that's like so many hours of practice and the coordination and it was just such talent. Yeah. And like I couldn't, I was so excited to be like, oh my God, best thing ever, highly recommend it. But I'd say within the last 10 minutes, so it was obviously like a Christmas theme and then they kind of started basing it around like Christmas. Went to the, the story of Jesus. Yeah, went to the story of Jesus. Which I'm like, okay, whatever, like the Americans are mad Catholics or Christians or whatever they are. Mm. So it's kind of like, right, whatever. But all of a sudden there was like sheep on the, on the stage, which, you know, the night that Jesus was born, there were sheep and whatever. But we and Eve looked at each other and we're like, that look, they look so real. And then we were like, oh no, they're dogs dressed as sheep. Because they kind of looked like they had like a dog face. And even at that, we were kind of like, it's kind of not great. Like I know dogs can be on stage and a lot of like plays and stuff will have real dogs in it. So I wasn't like too put off by it. But I was like, God, like they're like the sheep part of the body looked like so pudgy. I was like, that's some outfit. But I was like, whatever, like they must have good funding. Next of all, two camels come out and we were like oh my god they look so real mm. and then we were like oh no they are real they wear two real fucking camels where does a theater get two camels from like you you i i don't know we were just like no they can't be real they can't be real and then we're like oh no they are real then they left and then a donkey came out on stage and we were like oh for fuck's sake mm. why does a theater school or show or whatever have animals and then all of them came back out on stage and those dogs that we thought were dressed as sheep were actually sheep. So why do they have three sheep? I think there actually might have been more in the end. Yeah, there was more sheep in the end. And then there was two camels and then the donkey. Dumb. And I was just like fuming because like, I just don't agree with animals being in shows. I don't agree with animals being used for like our entertainment. Like thinking how much hours and practice have to go into making a show like that, that means that the animals have to do it as well. And so it like was so loud. It was so loud. Especially at that point. Yeah. I was like, how are they okay with that? So that completely ruined the buzz. Like completely ruined it to the point where I was like, I actually I was fuming. Mm. Cause it's like I don't want to support that. So annoying. Like, if I hadn't known that there was going to be live animals in it, not a fucking chance I would have went. Yeah. Then animals don't belong in a fucking theatre for mm. human entertainment. Where are they getting camels from? Yeah. Like, where did they come from? Where did those camels come from? Yeah. And like, what do they do in their day-to-day -day lives? Are they just in fucking yeah. cages? We were livid. So that's why I was like, I'm going to wait till I get home. Yeah. We'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. But yeah. It's just, it's not necessary. Not necessary. They don't need to be there. They absolutely didn't need to be there. I'm not thinking the night Jesus was born, there was camels there. Why is there not camels on the stage? No. And the sheeps, they, they could have dressed up as sheep. 
Yeah. They could have got human stress of a sheep. The donkey. You could have gotten a fucking fake donkey. They ha the rockets were dressed as reindeers in the beginning. Were they? Yeah. The very first dance. Fuck, I can't remember. But yeah, like, why can't the humans just dress up as the animals? Like, or just uh, have none. Or just have none! <laughs> so annoying, so... Not okay, Radio City. Not okay. Very much a shame. I kind of want to look it up online and see. What did you? Yeah, when people give out about it. Ah, oh, there you go. Peter. Peter. Peter, yeah. For Radio City to get rid of their animals in 2014. 2014, Peter asked for them to get rid of their video or <laughs> animals. 2014, that's nearly 10 years ago. I'm just raging that we didn't know that. Yeah. Because like, up until that point, I was like, it's worth every fucking penny. Because yeah. you like that, it's such talent. But live animals, no. Which makes me think like, if that's what, if that's the animals they have for that, yeah. what other animals do they have? Because yeah. they're not always going to need a camel mm -mm. or a donkey. Or sheep. Yeah. So annoying. So, FYI, if you're ever going to Radio City and you don't agree with that, don't go. And it's really hard to say that because like it is a brilliant show, but like no. Really hard to say it. But sorry, like you're you can't just wave your morals just because the show is good. Yeah. Anyways, finishing these pizzas, getting ready, going to bed. I actually might leave th this. Vlog here mm -hmm. and start a new one tomorrow. We did so much today. So much today. Oh my god. And we still have three days. Three days left. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, mostly Thursday. Yeah. Mm. We're having a jolly old good old time. I'll leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We are so, so, so much enjoying mm. New York. Mm. It's like way better than I ever thought it would be. Obsessed, love, don't love the prices of everything, but no. it's New York after all. Thank you so much for watching. And Merry just... holidays. Merry holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> See you in part two of my New York vlogs. Bye.